Okay, this is all about training videos. Now just imagine I shot the raw sequence for changing a tire um, and it's uploaded to my cell phone and now I'm going to do the narration over the top of it and all the scrolling and editing and I'm going to do it as fast as you're going to receive it right now because it's that basic. I'm just using a screencaster video function from my cell phone um, which records everything that I'm doing on the screen including my voice. So here he is changing his tire and I'm just scrolling forward, scrolling forward. Hit the play so it gives it to it and gives it to you in real time when I feel like doing that. Once I've made the point, said the relevant things, I can just scroll forward to hurry it up. Do the same thing. Talk over the top of it. Tell you what's going on. If I'm something important or in more detail that I need to communicate, bang, I just pause it and away I go. I can talk as long as I want for any extra points. And it's good not to jump, it's good to uh, scroll. This is a pretty nasty video that I'm working from, by the way. But you get my point. I can scroll to whatever I want so you don't... Because if you jump to scenes, you sort of tend to lose the uh, the context. It becomes disorientating. But again, I can make a training video from the raw data that quickly. As fast as you can receive it, I can uh, make it. Okay, so when you make the video, if it's a practical on the job sort of a thing, you want a gimbal, they're about $50 to $100, I have them, uh, they're amazing little things, they make your camera totally steady, it electronically controls it from three different points to stabilise it, it's uh, almost like a professional production, modern cell phones are so good, all you need is a gimbal, it makes all the difference, and from that, and when you're doing the basic recording to get a video, uh, you're not worried about timing or anything like that because or even talking because you sort all that out in the post edit where it's nice and clear and easy and if you're recording how to do uh, computer work on a computer then it's even easier because you just use a direct screencaster recorder like I'm using right now but on a computer and then you import those files onto your cell phone and then do the same screencaster thing over the top of that as well these are all for training videos for work. Again, how long does it take to uh, produce? As long as it takes for you to receive it. So fast and so convenient. So what are the advantages of moving into training videos? I made a list. Get rid of that. Okay, advantages of making training videos. Direct, easy communications. Pictures tell a thousand words, especially for people who are new and therefore cannot visualize the context well. Yeah, it makes all the difference. Because, you know, when you try to explain something to someone who can't even form the right pictures in their head because they're not familiar, uh, it can be a nightmare. It can be very difficult. You're asking them to memorize things that they don't even know what you're talking about, basically. Training videos largely eliminate that. It makes things so much easier. Training videos are always on you, on your cell phone. That's uh, extremely convenient. I mean, you probably have staff, especially newbies, looking at videos, learning how to do things, uh, unpaid at home because I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> it's really, really convenient to just put things on people's cell phones because it's, again, it's always there. Fast referencing. It takes a remarkably small amount of time to scroll to exactly the forgotten point in a process sequence on your cell phone. And I know that from experience. It's one of the biggest advantages of them. Like if you learn how to do something and it doesn't get reinforced because you never have to know it again for another, say, six months, you look up the video on your cell phone, and it's amazing how quickly you can just scroll to exactly the point you've forgotten, and then see exactly what to do and go, oh, that's right, bang. It's really, really good like that. Four, allows people to replay material, privately swat up, and quickly reinforce learnt material. People can learn at their own pace without pressure or intimidation, which unfortunately sometimes exists, allowing material to be properly absorbed. I think we can all relate to that. Five, isolates bad training. Bad trainers are usually invisible because the trainer naturally blames the trainee when there's trouble because they can. You know, I'm not trying to be sarc when I say that. I mean, it's just human nature, isn't it? <laughs> no trainer is going to go to the boss above them and say, I'm pretty useless at this, get someone else to train. No, it's going to be the trainee's fault. 
Unfortunately, there's nothing even remotely uncommon about bad and even abusive training. This is especially the case if the trainee is not personally liked or respected for whatever reason, which can then make learning almost impossible or grievously slow. I know I've seen that from personal experience. Uh, I've received it and I've seen other people receive it. Uh, it's it, Again, it's incredibly common. And I don't think employers understand how significant this is. It's, it's a major problem. We don't see it as a problem because it's everywhere. But honestly, if you can get rid of that factor, uh, you, would, you would be uh, very happy about that when you see the difference. Six, it takes great pressure off trainers who often struggle to teach on the job as they can't usually specialise as trainers. They need to get other work done too, of course, obviously making things tough for everyone. There's nothing worse than learning from a trainer who uh, doesn't really have the time to train, and so often that is the case. Seven, do it once, do it right. You can invest in carefully thinking through the training regime, making sure important things are not missed. And they always are. You can teach for proper prioritisation as well, as workers can know what to focus on first. This can go a long way towards making good workers and fast. Eight, fast training means lower costs, greater tolerance for higher staff turnover, and more staff that can step up to other roles as required, which is all pretty common sense, of course. And the sooner the, your staff can do your job, the better. <laughs> LOL. Thank you. Question is, I mean, now that we've got the tools to do this so easily and efficiently with modern cell phones, I mean, modern cell phones are so good now, the definition on the screen that you can uh, use them as effective screen to watch screencast videos of computer stuff stuff they need to do on the computer so it's like a second computer screen um but anyway i think the reason why i mean i don't understand why we aren't doing it maybe it's just the whole culture no one's doing it yet so we don't think we should be doing it well it's only just now really that cell phones are good enough for this role so maybe we should hurry up and start doing the obvious do an experiment thank you <laughs>